life is full of troubles life is full of troubles you know a man is born into trouble we are born into trouble on the very first day that we are giving birth to it in the hospital the nurses they will ensure to they will ensure we cry and if the child refuses to cry they will beat him what the nurses or the Midwives, what they will do, the first thing they will do is they make sure they cut the umbilical cord. They cut the child away from the source of supply. And that's to intimate the child that he is born into trouble. So a man of a short days is born into trouble. So life is full of trouble. You know, in fact, we are sent to the earth by God to solve the troubles of life. So you are here on the head to provide solution to one of those troubles and your ability to provide solutions to those troubles will determine how much you will enjoy your stay on this head. Your ability to provide solutions to those troubles will determine how long you will be remembered after you depart the head. So what we should spend the rest of our life, the whole of our life in doing is in discovering that problem, that trouble we are born to solve, and solving it. We are meant to provide solutions to problems. Problems will surely come our way. Problem will come your way. Problem will come my way. It will surely come. The only thing that can make any man to be problem free is to give up the ghost. If you don't want to have your own share of the problem, the troubles of life, then you need to depart this earth because this earth not as much as you don't want to leave this earth you've got to experience your own dose of trouble and that's why you should pray for problems you should pray for problems so stop spending your time in prayer to pray away your problems don't pray the way. Instead, embrace it. Provide solution to it. Because what you need is that problem. That problem is not to destroy you. That problem is to make you stronger. That problem is to change your thinking. That problem is to, 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 to take you out of your convulsion. That problem is to force you to think outside the box. That problem is meant to open your eyes to new opportunities. That problem is meant to, to, to put prayer on you to, to be tired of the status quo. So embrace the problem. So when problem comes, don't run for problem. Rather, embrace it. You know, and that was what uh, David did to Goliath. Everybody, they were running from their own problem. The whole problem of the children of Israel as at that time was Goliath. And everybody, they were running. Even the person in the position to solve the problem was cowardly hiding himself. The, pe the person of the king, King Saul, was hiding himself. But, but, but David rose up. And only indignation arose from his inside that this is a problem that needs to be solved and he stood up to solve it and in fact so those people that are meant to solve the problem they are tr trying everything in their possible best to to discourage him from solving the problem but instead he told them i am made to solve the problem in fact i have solved problems in the past the problem of the bear the problem of the lion and I overcome in short this same problem I'm going to solve it and overcome he went he did not allow the problem to come to him rather he ran to the problem no he ran to the problem he advanced to the problem he embraced the problem and you know what the problem fell down flat before him so that's how we are meant to treat the problem of life so the problem is not here to destroy us. The problem is here to make us stronger. The problem is here to give us more testimony so that we can solve greater problems. 
and the truth is if for small problem in your life now you cannot solve it you will not have access to greater problems and you know what the the greater your problem the greater the breakthrough so if you don't have great problems in your life that means you are not in for great breakthroughs and that's why breakthroughs are called breakthroughs you have to break through a barrier you have to break through a barricade you have to break through a particular problem so if you want to have breakthroughs then you must solve problems the road to elevation the, the road to breakthroughs is not an easy road it's a road laced with turns it's a road laced with with difficulties it's a road laid with rejections is a road laid with all kind of failures in fact breakthroughs doesn't come easily you know problem plus difficulties plus rejection plus disappointment equals success equals breakthroughs so do you want to have breakthrough then you must embrace the problem you must embrace difficulties you must embrace rejection you must embrace uh, disappointment you must embrace uh, failures they are the ingredients that you need for success so when you are faced with a problem i want you to rejoice rejoice why because that is a success that is a breakthrough in this guys and now when you are fixed with a problem you are fixed with an obstacle with the difficulties take for example a mountain there are some things you can do in crossing the mountain one you can turn back when you see the mountain you can say oh i'm not going i'm not going again no 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 i can't take it any longer i will turn back you can say all right i can move around the mountain that's also good you can say okay I can climb the mountain. That's also perfect. But you can say, I will bulldoze the mountain. You can use like dynamite, you detonate it, and then boom, the problem is gone. But you can also fly over the mountain. You can fly over. The mountain. So you can make your choice as to how you want to get the problem out of the way so that you can break through. But one thing I don't want you to ever think of doing is turning back. Because when you faint in the days of adversity, your strength is small. You know, you know a strong man by how great a problem is willing and ready to solve. You know a man that is strong. You know, strongness is not in empty chest. Strongness is not in, in six pack. Strongness is not in your empty. And the key is your doggedness in saying, I'm not going to leave. I'm not going to stop until this problem is solved. So face the problem head on. Just make sure you get rid of it. Get rid of the problem so that you can enjoy your breakthrough. If you need to walk around it, if you need to fly over it if you need to to remove the problem all together just do everything you can but don't ever think of turning back now there's something worthy of note about problem and that is the problem is 90 percent solved when you can state what exactly is the problem your ability to state the problem is directly proportional to your ability of getting the problem solved a problem well stated is a problem solved so and the problem of people is they don't even know what is their problem they can't state what exactly is their problem you have been doing the business over and over again and it keeps on failing do you know why it continues to fail because you have not taken the time to sit down and ask yourself what exactly is the problem because the day that you are able to state what the problem is and i'm i'm telling you with all of my mind that that problem is 90 percent solved and that's why i will tell you today again that your problem is not your problem your problem is your inability to state exactly what the problem is so sit down sit down and state what the problem is and you can know what the problem is if you don't know how to ask good question so the question is what is the question men of great minds that provide solutions 
the great problems of life they are those that knows how to ask good question what they always ask is what is the question and you know what you m- you must be able to ask some unreasonable questions why because life always have answers to all your questions whether reasonable or unreasonable life will provide you with answers to them you can imagine some scientists people like Niels Bohr, people like Albert Einstein they always ask themselves foolish questions I was reading one book on quantum physics um, was it day before yesterday and I was reading some things about some scientists and he said the question he asked himself a question that is it that when a tree falls in a forest is it that it will not make any sound it's only when somebody is there to hear it that it will make sound that question sounds unreasonable right to you it may be but well, those are the questions those guys are asking the best inventions see there's no pro question that is unreasonable there's no questions that life cannot provide answers to just ask the question and i'm telling you life will answer it do you know why we don't have buildings do you know why we don't have structures that ah that have this foundation on the head no it's situated on the head not in the moon i mean right on this head but the foundation is not on the soil do you know why we don't have that kind of houses yet? Because we've not had a great mind that are foolish enough to ask themselves that foolish question that is it possible? So when you are faced with problem, what you should do is you ask yourself questions. Reasonable and unreasonable questions about the problem. Like, why me? Like, this problem, why did you come to me? Why am I in this problem? How did I get myself into this problem? Who sent this problem into my life? What are the situations surrounding this problem? If this problem, if they are solved, what will be my benefit? This problem that I am experiencing now, how can I use it to bless others? This problem I am experiencing now, how will it affect myself, your family, your wife, if you are married, your children, if you have one? How will it affect those around you? How will it affect the work you do? How will it affect your belief? How will it affect everything about you ask yourself any questions that can come to mind and i'm telling you if you can ask those questions you will get answers to them why life will always provide you with answers to all of your questions so from today don't run from your problem from today don't pray your problem away rather face it solve it from today when problem comes to you know that that is breakthrough in this guys so your problem is not your problem but your problem is your inability to state what exactly is the problem thank you please subscribe to this channel click the notification button and drop your comment below if you have questions to drop your questions and i will do justice to them in the next video thank you john this is bye for now